Hey, Beach Body Bloggers, it's Kelly Ryan, and I'm excited for a really important lesson today. We are just about wrapping up, but we have one of the most important pages that you will have on your blog to work on today. So we are going to knock that one out of the park. Um, I've actually done, once again, kind of the, the bulk of the job here, which is actually creating the content for you, um, what you're going to say on the Join a Challenge group page. This is where you can send people where they can read through and this really kind of makes or breaks a lot of them in terms of what they're thinking. So in providing this for you I'm hoping it will really ease that transition for many of you. So um, on this page I'm going to go ahead and let's see I think I'll hit edit. So you can take a look at how I've built it and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, um, I did change the title from join my challenge group to a challenge group. Um, that's totally up to you. You can change that if you want. Uh, you're going to copy and paste the content from our Facebook group again, and then you can come to my page and look at the examples here for formatting. I'm not going to go through each step, but you know now that you can highlight these and uh, bullet them, bold them, do that sort of thing. Um, down here, this is a highlight feature, so I made this an extra size up in terms of the text. I chose large for that. And then I also used the highlighter feature here to give it um, some standout color. And I cho chose this peach color because that really works with the color scheme of my blog. You can choose whatever you like that complements your blog as well. Um, just some other basic formatting as you go through. Remember how we've been learning to keep the paragraphs broken up so it's not one big bulk thing that people look at and go, ugh, that looks overwhelming, I don't want to read it. Keep it in short bits that they can kind of scan through and get the most important bits. Um, highlighting again the things you really want to draw attention to. Um, down at the very bottom um, I centered each of these and then I included a motivational picture that expressed uh, what I wanted my people to really walk away with. Obviously you can use that one or you can um, choose something else that really speaks to you. I just googled, I had it in my mind that they were worth it and so I just googled you are worth it and clicked on images and found that one so <laughs> that that worked well for me. Now. All of that is pretty straightforward. You've done all that sort of thing before. The thing that's going to be new here is putting in a form. You see this? This is a form that people are going to fill out and submit um, and it's going to go directly to me to manage. The way that we've been using is using Google Drive and then uh, creating a form. I'm going to go over that really quickly. This little symbol here is your Google Drive. If you're going to make something new, you simply click Create, and you're going to want to create a form. You can choose a template, or a theme rather, for your uh, form. I chose the one here at the bottom because, again, the color scheme just kind of worked, and I liked it. Um, there's a lot of popular ones or simple ones, so just choose whatever works for you and click, um, click OK. You can give it a title if you want. That title up here is going to be for you. So if you want to give it a name, nobody's going to see this except for you, but you can call it um, Challenge Group Application, probably. And then you can change this name here if you want. This is what they will see. So um, One Fit Nation challenge group. And you can put application or not. I left it blank. In the form description you might choose to give them a little motivational um, quote or a word of encouragement, something like that. It's better than a description or like fill out my form. It's kind of boring. So I put, um, oh, let's see, let's go back over there. What did I say? I said I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. I'm telling you it's going to be worth it, right? So I'm playing with that theme and having them, oops, Sneak peek, having them work on that. Okay, so 
Where'd I go? I lost it. Is it over here? Okay, here we go. Fill that in and then just one question at a time. Um, I wanted them to start with the date. So I simply typed date in the question title. Then down here you've got question types and this is where you can change what it is you want them to fill in. I wanted it to, it to be a date so that will automatically format. And I always choose that it's a required question so they can't skip anything. They have to fill it in and click done. When you're ready to add a next item, my next one was um, by what date do you want to achieve your goals? And I did another date box. Now I'm just I'm not going to run through all of this because you can look at my site to see the questions, but I'm just going to show you so you can um, your first name. Now I'm going to change that. You see, this time I'm just going to choose regular text as an answer. Then I'm going to put in. Um, uh, you can add in the rest of the items for their last name and um, their email, their phone number, and all that sort of thing. And that is that. When you're finished, I like to change. This is the confirmation page. This is what they'll see as soon as they've finished. And your response has been recorded. It's kind of boring. So you can put in some other personal message like, thank you so much for taking the time to fill in this form. I'll be getting in touch with you shortly or something like that. I'm excited to help you reach your goals. And then I uncheck the show link to submit another response. Otherwise, you wind up with duplicates, and people think they didn't do it right, so I always uncheck that. Um, then, once that's all finished, if you want to check it out, you can view the live form. You'll see I didn't choose a pretty template or anything, so it looks just pretty basic, but that's fine too. Um, and then go back and edit the form. Now that I know that it all looks right, it's how I want it to be, then you're going to click Send Form. Okay, if I was going to send someone this form directly, like in a Facebook message or um, email, you would click this link to share and copy. However, in our case, we want to embed because we're going to be putting this on our blog. So click embed, copy that, click done, go back to your blog, and we need to make sure we're here in the edit yeah okay we're here in the edit so now you're gonna go to HTML scroll to the very bottom I'm gonna do one extra space just because you don't need to do an extra space just do one and paste I'm gonna wind up with two forms right because you see I've already got mine there and I don't want to change it um, and because I can show you the option okay so then I'm gonna go back to compose and it will immediately show what I've done so I can keep scrolling down but see that here's this other form that I did this one snugs in here nicely because it doesn't have um, any decorations in the margin so you don't really have to worry about the format the one that I did before, this one with the flowers, bled over way too far onto the side. So I needed to um, make it fit by changing the size. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If your form is way too big, simply go over here to the HTML and look down here where you see height. See there? Height 500 and width is 680 okay don't worry about the zeros none of that other stuff matters all you need to deal with is height and width okay the height was fine that doesn't make any difference but the width is what I needed to change and I played with it until I found exactly the right number for my particular blog all of you may have a completely different number so I can't tell you what the right one is but I can show you let's say it used to be um, let's say 800 and I go back to compose you're gonna scroll down and you'll see see now you can only see this on one side not over here it doesn't fit anymore because it's too wide so that's how I knew to go back and then I tried 700 and I took a look 
and it was close, but not quite. There's a little bit of white margin here, but not here. So this was just a matter of, you know, taking taking a minute to try a couple of number combinations to find what works perfectly. And there, now it is. I see my scroll bar over here, and we're all set. Um, as far as putting in your picture, if you forgot how to do that, remember you're just going to save the picture to your computer, hit the picture, choose your file, select the picture, add selected, and it will be there. If you want it to be centered, you just click in front of it and choose the alignment and put it where you want it to go. And that's it. Um, as we learned in the earlier lesson, it's also good to change the properties for um, searchability on Google and other search engines. So you can just do the same thing. Beachbody challenge you are worth it and maybe um, weight loss. So I can copy that, put it in the other one, and click OK. Remember that's invisible, nobody's going to see it uh, on your blog, but it will show up. Um, actually it does, if they hover, they'll see this little window. So you can decide if that's OK for them to see or not, but it does help um, in a Google search. So that is, that is it. I have a lot to teach you about formatting. Um, I'm going to, uh, huh, I need to take off that other form, don't I? I'll make sure I do that, but just to view the blog, I'm going to show you a little bit, see how my, uh, my blog got a bit of a facelift. So I've worked a lot on um, getting the right look and feel. I had just taken an ordinary template and then I started working with it in advanced settings to get what I wanted. And we may or may not have time to work on that in this particular class. We may do a blog 2.0 and get to some more advanced things. But I want you to know that you do have a lot of flexibility in terms of the look and feel of your, um, of your blog or blog. It doesn't have to be just exactly what they show you. You really have a lot of flexibility. Um, in fact, I was going to give you another tip. There's uh, websites like this one for Alyssa Showmaker, and this is a template that she purchased from Etsy. I can give you guys the link if you want. I think it was $35 to buy the template, and, um, and I, since I built my own, I don't know exactly the process, but I know that there are $35 for the template, and you'll get a look and feel. It's very clean. Um, it's very similar to what you're doing. You can see the elements are the same, but Sometimes if you're really unsure of how to get good combinations and get it looking the way you want or you want these fun little things and don't want to figure out how to do it yourself, um, you can buy that and have them do it for you. Okay, So that's just another option. If you don't like the look and feel for that one, there's, um, oh, I was going to tell you, on, it was Lisa's Menagerie is who did the, uh, who did that. So if you Googled that on, um, Etsy, or you just went to, you can click that link and go to Lisa's Menagerie. There's a little shop link. She's just building the site, so there's not much there, but you can click the shop link and it'll take you directly to her Etsy store. So that's just another option, and, um, and that's it. You guys, I hope that that's been helpful, getting that page up. We just have one to go. We're actually going to make um, some changes here. Instead of take the challenge, you see I've got take the challenge and join a challenge group. So I'm going to change this take the challenge and make it um, be a coach. And that's going to be our coach invitation page. And we should be finishing up. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, or not, if you're watching this video and it's nowhere near the 4th of July, that's okay too. Happy day, whatever day it is. <laughs> and uh, hope you've enjoyed all this. We'll talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye.